Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Timothy Profitable. God bless you so much for having time to come on board. Whether you are passing by, going to do something else, I want just appreciate you very well for having crossed here in this channel. It's a great honor and a great blessing as well at the same time. Now, my name is Timothy Profitable and I run Blayboy TV. And this is a YouTube channel that we expect in one time, God shall blow it up. God bless you so much. Now, I have a scripture here to give you. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. That's Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22. And this is one of the things that I really need so many people to come into scriptures of this kind. Israel was one of the smallest clan so far. It started by clan. The smallest nation. The smallest. In fact, you could count in just one day. You could count everybody by a small team. And this was a small nation that every nation that was neighboring Israel could rise to fight them every man, one time or another time. And God gave Abraham a vision. And at this time also he gave them a vision, the one that was leading the people. Let me read for you verse 21 so that you can hear the impact of what is happening. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. The one promise that was given to Abraham was carried forward to the next generation. And God was reminding them that this is the promise and the covenant I had with your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now this one, Jacob, has turned to be Israel. The the blank uh, bearer, the part bearer of uh, the birthright bearer of the nation and the lineage of Abraham. And this is when now 60 verse 22, it's a prophecy that Isaiah was talking about. Isaiah was one of the sharp shooting prophets in the Old Testament that even prophesied the coming of Jesus in a clear perspective, everything that happened within Jesus' birth until he passed on. To glory and transformed into the heavenly glory body. He was the one who started the prophecy and prophesied in clear content that there is one that is coming, a Bruce Reed, that we come from the root of Jesse, the king David. And this was Jesus' prophecy. Now, this is the same prophet that prophesies about the genealogy and generation of Abraham to Jacob that later on turned on to be called Israel. It was a small nation. Among comparisons of other nations that were surrounding, Jacob was like the smallest nation in that place. Israel, it was so minute nation, but had a covenant with God. Now, in this particular concept and uh, context, God is talking to them because they were almost like they forgot the covenant of multiplication that God said, I will multiply you to many nations, generation after generation. It will be like sand, it will be like stars. God was prophesying, was talking to Abraham straight forward, every part of it. And then it looks like after a short while, this generation forgot the promise. And now the prophet came in to remind them that a little one that you see now, this one Israel that you see, this man that is already in despise, this person that looks like has nothing, this one person that is despised, this one business that you are seeing that looks like there's nothing coming out of it, this marriage that has been like there is no hopes of it, this thing, this thing you see here and there, right now as i'm talking about this little one shall become a thousand and this small thing that you call small nation shall become very strong and works great and great so i the lord will hasten it because the prophet was talking and it was like these people are not listening yeah the prophet was talking as like these people are not listening to anything i'm talking about now i will show them <laughs> This is not just a speech, it is God speaking. So they had to get the attention of what God was speaking through the prophet. He saw, ah, 
These people I'm talking about, it's like the scenario of, Je uh, the, uh, of, of Gideon. Gideon was like, ah, these ones we heard of our forefathers that God helped them, crossed them across Red Sea, took them, fed them with manna, fought their battles, secured them from diseases, etc., etc. Now, you are saying this God, where is this God? That was Gideon asking a, an angel without knowing. The same scenario was here. He was talking. This man was talking. And the Israelites were like, oh, you are talking now. Who is talking? You or God? And he confirms it in the last part of this verse. I, the Lord, will hasten it to happen in its time. People may sound like they are working on an impossible project. People may found and work like they are not in a project God can station for victory. And then at one moment they would even doubt. It is a very easy thing to doubt when God is speaking if the promise is huge that it cannot be imaginable with human mind or human powers. This time when it reaches to that level, this is exactly what happens. God reminds every individual that it is me who will make it happen. It does not one. Maybe it tarries up to tomorrow and it tarries up to another day, but it will be still my time to make it happen. It will be still my moment to make it happen. So just be patient and wait and see the glory and the manifestation of the Lord. I want to encourage somebody today that it is not your plan. It is God that planned you. Many times when you keep praying and you pray, there's a level you reach to a certain place where God has to remind you that it is him that is rolling the wheel. Let God take the wheel and you be a representation and a steward of God that takes you from one level to another. Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy, and this is not just an episode. So before you leave, I want to pray with you. If you don't have Jesus into your spirit yet, this is your best opportunity to have him. Now, I want you now to pray with me together. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I surrender my soul, my spirit and body unto you. May I receive you today. I receive you by the power of the blood of Jesus on the cross and also by the grace in heaven, by the grace in heaven. Say it again, by the grace in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, I am born again. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, this brother, this sister, as I pray this prayer, I release grace for sustenance that they may be sustained into heavenly glory. In the mighty name of Jesus shall bless the works of their hands and everything they do. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen and amen. If you have prayed this prayer, please get into the contacts that are in the end of this video and get in touch with us. For, uh, send us your email or as well, you can send us a WhatsApp message and be that God bless you and God glorify your holy name. Don't fret. The Lord's plan shall work in his timing. Amen.